So I'm acutely aware that yet again, I've not really been present. And to be fair, there's a reason for that. The title below isn't clickbait. Um, I really am giving up vlogging. Um, and there's, there's many, many reasons for this. But what I want to kind of make clear is what I feel vlogging is. So for me, vlogging is about me taking my cameras out and taking my phone out while I'm out working and talking to camera while I'm out and about, while I'm shooting sports, while I'm working with commercial clients, all that kind of thing. As opposed to me sitting down and talking to you as I'm talking to you now. Because it's the vlogging side of things that I find really, really difficult. And I've been trying to do it for the better part of what is probably nearly two years worth of me doing this, I think it's nearly two years. And I've always struggled to do the stuff out in public. And there's two reasons for that. One is a bit of insecurity and as much as vlogging as a whole kind of genre on YouTube is, it's, it's fine in the States and other parts of the world. Lots of people see people with kind of like vlogging rigs like mine and they don't bat an eyelid. But in the UK, you still will get looked at like you're a little bit crazy. Um, and for someone like me, who's a little bit kind of on the introvert side, that's quite difficult to kind of get past when I'm out working. And the other reason and the, and the main reason that um, I'm giving up vlogging is that when I'm out working, I'm, I'm really focused on what I'm doing and I don't often find myself thinking, oh, I should record this or, oh, I should kind of like say something to camera now because it's really relevant. Actually, what I'm thinking about while I'm out working, whether it's with clients, whether it's a, a sporting event is what's happening right now, what's about to happen, um, you know, what settings do I need to be in, what positions do I need to be in. I'm so focused on that that it's really hard for me to then step to one side and do the vlogging thing. So this is my farewell. Thank you very much, YouTube vlogging. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. But what I'm actually gonna do is, rather than kind of try and take my cameras around with me and vlog as we go and all that kind of stuff, I'm gonna continue to do what I'm doing now, which is sit to camera and talk to you guys and either give you stuff to think about or give you trips and trips, trips, either give you uh, things to think about or to give you tips and tricks that will help you to get better as a sports photographer. Because actually, that's the stuff that you guys seem to resonate with far more than me uh, kind of taking my camera or you know grabbing my phone and doing some kind of piece to camera while I'm out working. When we're back traveling and stuff, fingers crossed, <laughs> next year, um, I'm gonna make sure that I'm recording and filming as I'm traveling because I think that's kind of like good content to have in um, and I can talk about what I'm doing and all that kind of stuff and how it relates to uh, everyone as sports photographers. But I want to spend more time giving you guys quality stuff and quality information and that involves me sitting down and talking to you and helping you through that way. So this is my, I'm done with vlogging, thank you very much, but I'm not gonna do it anymore. And this is my, moving forward now, we're gonna be sat down and we're gonna be talking and I'm gonna be sharing as much possible helpful stuff as I can. It's been pretty tricky the last couple of months uh, at the back end, the back end of the first wave of COVID, as of the other day, we are in the UK kind of spiking again, so we're going back into some restrictions. But for the last couple of kind of weeks, maybe six weeks, I've actually been really, really busy. Work's been flowing again, we've had lots of clients come in. Um, I've done a lot of commercial work, I've picked some sports stuff up as well. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, why not? You'll have seen that I'm kind of been doing a lot of stuff with like Life for Sport, whether that's uh, cricket or kind of like events and stuff like that so there's been plenty going on and it's been keeping me plenty busy and actually it's been really really good for me because what it's enabled me to do is to get out of the kind of difficult slump that I was in and um, kind of move back into creativity and back into working and back into some kind of flow which makes me feel like I want to sit down 
and I want to share some stuff with you again. So we're going to start, fingers crossed, moving forward on a bit more regular pace. I apologise, I'm aware you've all missed me massively. Yeah, okay. Um, but I'm going to start sharing some bits and pieces with you. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you hit subscribe um, and kind of go back through the archive. What I'd spent some time doing over the summer is putting stuff into playlists. So there's, there is now a vlog, ironically, playlist. Um, but there's a tips and tricks playlist and there's uh, things to think about playlist as well. Um, and hopefully that will give you a bit of kind of stuff to get stuck into if you haven't already uh, seen any of my stuff. What I'm also going to do is make sure that I link below the link to my four photographers section on my website, which has got links to my Udemy course, uh, ebooks and stuff that you can grab, uh, links out to my presets and stuff. Um, and there's also going to be a link on there to sign up to the newsletter because I'm going to start sharing bits and pieces out on the newsletter as well. So for those of you that have already signed up, thank you very much for signing up to the newsletter. If you haven't already, it's well worth it. I'm going to try and share some kind of like written thoughts as opposed to me chatting away on camera. So it might be a bit more uh, concise and relevant. Um, so yeah, that's it. No more vlogging. I'm done. That's it. Thank you very much. We'll see you again next time. If you haven't already, take a moment to hit subscribe so you'll get notified whenever I post up new videos. At the minute, it's about twice a week. I share most of my work on Instagram too, at Ben Snapstuff, so feel free to give me a follow. Till next time.